All right, you guys know you're supposed to like run the car and then work on it, right? <laughs> we haven't even done, have you gone through tech yet? No. You're doing this completely backwards, man. I had a, a race built 408 cleaver in here. And four days ago, I find out I've got two cracked pistons and a cracked block. Jesus Christ. That's gonna be that's gonna be a bit of a problem. So this is a stock 351 Windsor that's never been opened up. So we're gonna see what this thing does on 10 pounds if we can get it together. So why you got it apart right now? Um, we just got it together like two hours ago. Oh. Okay, so you guys finished it two hours ago, but it's still apart right now, or back apart, or yeah, so it, back apart. We noticed we had something leaking on the bottom side, and I can't tell if it's fuel or oil. Ah, what are you guys hoping for out of the, uh, it's, a, it's a Windsor or a Cleveland? What are we looking at? Yeah, so it, it was a Cleaver, which is a combination of the two. Cleveland heads on a Windsor block. Okay. Um, now it's just a now it's just 51 Windsor out of a 95 F250. So she should make some steam then, right? Maybe. What are we I, hoping for, ET? Like 13, 12, yeah, yeah. something like so that? Yeah, so I'm in the 11 -0 class. And okay, I, I, I don't think you're gonna break out. No, Okay. absolutely not. I'm not even gonna get close. I'm just, I'll, I'll be happy if it goes down the track. Hey, but you know what? It's awesome that you guys did that just to do race week. You know yeah. you're not gonna be like super no. fast or competitive, but no. then you're just then Yeah, you're we're basically fun. here for moral support for all the other racers. Hey, we're, well, the everybody needs it. <laughs> that was our plan. It was this, or drive my Camry. So if this wasn't gonna work, you guys were coming with something. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You, yeah, we got the week off work. We gotta take something. Uh, yeah. So it's an NA Windsor out of a '94 F250 right now, and then it might be a Windsor out of a F250 yeah. with a blower at some point. And some nitrous. Oh, and we got some nitrous. Yeah. We're really trying to blow this thing up, aren't we? So when we're back here on Monday. Yeah. If you guys make it, just oh, ev it's getting everything. I made it here. I'm not about to not make it. Back. All right, all right, all right. Well, I'll let you guys keep working on it. Uh, try not to sweat too much before we even get going here. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you on the track, man. Good luck. Thanks, bro. All right. Vortec parts, so it's got parts from a Vortec YSI in it. So it'll make a hell of a lot more boost. Gotcha. Just this can't take it. Okay, I'm just gonna call it a supercharger just to yes, make no, it. it is. Okay. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, there we go. Yeah, it'd be like four pounds of boost. I'm gonna try to give it a little bit more, we'll see, but I just try like baseline, like I did no idea where it was. So was that four what is it fourteen two? Fourteen two, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, not bad. We're yeah, so I gotta look at the data log. Uh, for whatever reason my RPM was limited at like forty nine hundred, so I don't know it was like there was like a wall. So I gotta check my uh, rev limits and settings and see what's up, but went down the track. Yeah. And you, I had boost. I mean You have a place to start from now, so there you go. Hey, it runs, it runs. I'm excited. We're good, like We're that's good boys. We're good. Ecstatic. <laughs> Ecstatic. <laughs> I like I like your blower. Showing off the blower. Full custom mount right there. <laughs> Everything custom. Yeah. Reminds me of Cletus's turbo setup. Two only, days only. in a garage with uh, no sleep and. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I usually run a cleaver in this. Cleveland heads on a Windsor block. Ah, okay. Cleaver. Uh, I don't yes. think I've ever heard that term before. Really? No. Yeah, so cleavers, I got a whole bunch of crap on my YouTube channel about it, but cleavers are, cleavers heads on a Windsor block, they're supposed to flow a lot more. Okay. Uh, I've heard of the combo before, I've never heard it referred to as yeah. that. 
Yeah, it, uh, I cracked a cylinder wall into a cooling jacket and cracked two pistons. Right before the event. Oh, damn. So this wasn't planned, or was it already no, like that with Bill? Okay. It was not planned at all. Okay. <laughs> it was, uh, I love it. It was a little different. We were like, okay, so what's the stock 351? Like 200 horsepower? It's like, how do we get more than that? Mm -hmm. So here is a uh, boost, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, well, let's see. The trick is to not get belt slit, but also, like, it's literally a guy had it in his garage for eight years. Damn. And he's like, well, well enough for runs. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. And I missed, I missed the first run of True Street because we were still piecing it together. So I didn't even get the first run in I got was, like, right before the rain came. Yeah. So. Perfect. It was a lot of fun. It'll be a whole different story tomorrow. Did you end up in the 14 second class then? Is that what you're yeah, planning I, on? Yeah, I had oh, them. Yeah. yeah. I so had now you're going to figure out how to slow it down. Maybe. Tomorrow. I can't, I can't, so I think it's just an issue with airflow because of where we place the throttle body, but I can't get, I can't get it to rev higher than like 3,900 or 4,500. It's really weird. It's like there's a rev limit on it. Weird. It is, yeah. Like, I've got a three-step here. I got all the pills pulled out of it. Couldn't have anything to do with the engineering on this. No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> You see, you see working? Yeah, maybe. Maybe try turning it off and turning it on again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, uh, that I did. And I just realized, obviously, my voltmeter is at home in my bag. Yeah, these guys have some pretty decent sized toolboxes. Yeah. You guys have a voltmeter by chance? What? A voltmeter? A, a voltmeter for electronics? I do. Alright. I'll speak over there. He's got a meter. That would be very helpful. Yeah. I'll go chase him down. Thank you. Here you go. Ugh, you are the man. It's from the, the guy with the yellow car had it buried in his trailer, so okay. it actually is from the guy with the rust colored wagon. <laughs> so when you see him at the track tomorrow, you can just give it to him. It's just. So right. this one right here? Yeah. So find him tomorrow and give it back to him. Okay. They'll probably right. be heading out here in a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right off the top, buddy. This looks, uh, <laughs> at least you drove it to the lift, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. We were like, we got to change oil and put tires on. Why not? Oh, you're just doing quick little maintenance. Yeah. Quick, quick little. Last time yeah. we got stuck in Cambridge. Thought it was the ECU and just shut off leaving the station with the 85 after filling up and <laughs> it was nothing. Yeah. We nothing. went to we went to leave the gas station and just took a dump. We were there for her two, what, two hours? Yeah. Yeah, he props to a good crew good crewman. This guy, he's like, I'm just like, I'm done. I'm done. And he's like, what about this? What about this? Like he keeps prodding me and then I was like, yep. Figured out it was a stupid relay that came loose and found it. And really? It was the main power relay for the, the ECU and all of the injectors and everything else. That'll do it. Yeah. That'll do it right yeah. there. So yeah, take it. So yeah, take it easy. Use the lift. It's hot out. Just yeah. Exactly. We got that, I didn't think about that. Ahead. Like guys are probably thinking, I'll use that if I break. It's like no, just use it to get no, it a brace trim. Just yeah. Just our new bracket. Oh too. yeah, you were talking about that. Instead of four pounds, it's up to eight. And it's holding eight just fine. It's not yeah, slipping. So or far, so yeah, we, far. We only made a so at 2,500 RPM, I got eight pounds. Okay. <laughs> what do you What are you hoping for, ET wise? What'd you What'd you do at the What'd you do at Bandamere? 14.2. 14 14.2. So let's crack into those 13s today. I uh, I mean, I wouldn't be mad. There you go. It pulls a lot harder than it was. <laughs> this guy's always smiling. I didn't get to see the ET. Um, not 
fast. 15-7. Now, so it left on like 10 pounds of boost. <laughs> I kind of checked the data log. I did uh, I did some adjustments earlier, and it, it helped definitely out the two-step because I was leaving on no boost earlier. Right. So. What do you th What do you think the issue is? Yeah. We're together in two days. <laughs> Struggles today? I don't think there's gonna be a day where you say where you say no. I took the intake off five times today. No, you didn't. I couldn't get the valve cover to seal. You know, when we got to Carney, did you see us on the lift? The whole underside of the car was coated in oil. Yeah, so the, the valve cover is leaking like the bolt goes through the valve cover hole. It's leaking around the bolt. So before we left Carney today, finally last day, Jeffrey, we just shoved the holes full of silicone and jammed them in there. Money works. We didn't lose any oil all the way here, so I'm excited. And I just tested my two-step. I got 12 pounds on it now. Oh, so. hey, you're going to leave with some steam. Maybe. At least 300 horsepower. I mean, I was thinking like 285. Okay, okay. Yeah, I fair. might do a 15. <laughs> These guys just don't quit. I've never seen somebody so excited to hit like a 14. That, that motor is out of like a 94 F-250 that they threw in like the day before. And it's, it's got a supercharger on it, which that motor never wanted. And uh, I don't know how much power it makes, not much, but he's going for 13s. We'll see what he can do. the track too. That was hilarious. That was so much better. Was it? That was perfect. Short shifting the hell out oh, of yeah, it. Oh yeah, yeah, I was shifting at 3900 <laughs> RPM. It sounds so goofy going by. Doesn't it? You can hear every part of the blower. <laughs> can you really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, at the right half track is just so weird. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta check the log, but it looked like it was a little fat, so I should be able to go a little better. But Still smiling. That 60 foot was way better than the 2-1 or whatever I did the other day. All right, what are we doing? Shifting at four gram. <laughs> ET. Uh, 14. I'm gonna say 13 nine with a nine. Hopefully. Yeah. Forty, ninety-three 93 mile an hour. Not bad. He'll Best still be pass. excited about yeah. it. Best pass so far. <laughs> Very nice. Not what we're looking for there. Come on. Yeah, I, so that I was trying to I was trying to give it a little more fuel in the middle because it was a little lean, and I gave it too much on the top, so I only had like 4,800 on my two step. So I left it like nine pounds, not 12. Gotcha. So we're back to where it was. My neighbors do not like when I test the two step. Really? <laughs> you don't say. I, I pulled off the cast like every time you come back, you give me a heart attack. There is no part of this week that has not been enjoyable. Good. Even sweating and working on the thing today? You know what? My, my worst day racing my car will always be better than my best day at work. Okay. Okay. That's fair. You're, you're making everybody smile when you come up there. And when I tell them, that's got a 94 F-250 motor in it, and they're just trying to see what it'll do. And they're like, oh, now I get it. Now it's cool. <laughs> What's going on? The uh, blower uh, bolts loose. What'd you do? Uh, so 
That's not supposed to be wiggly. There's a, no, some shaft bad. plays okay. There was zero shaft play. Hey, it was new. It needs to get broke in. Yeah, send it. Well, the uh, the impeller is rubbing on the housing, so that's where I call it quits. It's before not I, that bad. Before I grenade it. Uh, but it's a standard, like it's a standard uh, Timken bearing. It's just a ceramic ball bearing, so I'll be able to find one between here and Pueblo. You think it's okay to drive on? Oh, uh, we'll just take the belt off. Oh, good call. Yeah. You just drive NA. Yeah, exactly. That's what I've been doing all week anyway. Oh, and that's okay. exactly why, because like with me over spinning, this so much, the bearings don't last very long. All right, well, I was really hoping to launch, so I had tightened the belt some more and it was building a little bit more boost. I was really hoping we'll get it running again. All right. Yeah! <laughs> oh, what's up, Ray? Is there a name for this thing yet? It's gotta have a name just for like this, because this thing is just too ridiculous. My three-year-old calls it Sally. Sally? All right, how's Sally doing today? Fine. We got bearings coming for the blow, so. Yeah, that's good. Bearings are coming, so you think it'll be good? You'll be able to take it apart when you get to the hotel tonight? Or? Oh, yeah. You getting parts so. today, or you getting parts tomorrow? Uh, I, I don't know. They shipped them out this morning, first thing, like 8 o'clock. Gotcha. So whenever FedEx brings them. How's the AC in there? Not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's been so many other things we've been working on. The AC was like the last worry I had. So, I mean. Hey, I just want to let you know, if you've made it this far, you guys have gone already a 1,000 miles. So See, I feel like it. Yeah, no, you <laughs> probably do. You probably do, but just this is the point where you. Yeah, then on the way here. You're over a thousand. What? <laughs> Use some. Is that just you had your leg propped up? I had no idea. Like it's just this melting in the sun. Just the, <laughs> just the just the knee cat just above yeah. the knee too. That's a real classy look right there. Oh my gosh, just enough to make it hurt. Did our, our favorite four eye make it with no problems, or did you guys have to pull over? You always have the smile like you have a story. What what'd you do yesterday? What, what happened? Fred, you know what we found out this week? Uh, please tell me. That we can run a 14.4 on six cylinders with some boost. You're, what? what? <laughs> You're two cylinders down? Not anymore. Oh. Wait, the whole week you were two yeah. cylinders? You didn't know it? No, I can't hear anything over those stupid. I mean, it, that's probably why it sounded so weird. Yeah, I was like, that's six weird... cylinders all week. Okay, so it's faster now with the belt off and all eight cylinders than it's been all week. So we're so 13s might actually be in the I ballpark mean, today. It, yeah, so I didn't get bearings for the blower yet. Those are guaranteed by tomorrow. So okay. I'll have them. But uh, I'm excited. I got the nitrous hooked up. You swapped a supercharged V6 <laughs> for a nitrous V8? Yeah. Without touching a thing. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how you did that, but right? geez. I, I don't, honest, I, at this point, you've made it 1,100 miles. I have no idea how the car made it. <laughs> but like, because you saw, were beating on it like yeah. several times. Oh, I was on, beating it like it owed me something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I don't know how the heck. Two cylinders down all week long, and that's why we ran a 17 on just engine. Gotcha. At this point, I'm just shocked that that car even runs, and uh, I'm shocked that they. Every time I go over there, they're smiling, because probably because they fixed something that was broken that they didn't even know was broken. So I've never seen those guys sad or angry or anything. They're here and they're happy as hell to run 14s all week. What you do, NA? Uh, so I forgot to take the ducting off, 
So it was choking it. Okay. But I still got a 15.5. 15. I, had a, I didn't yeah. even run that in Carney. Yeah, 15 with no supercharger, but eight cylinders this yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. All okay. eight cylinders. So are we doing another, are we going to do 50 shot now, or are we going to do yep, another yep. NA? 50 shot now, and then I took the, the compressor side off, so it can actually breathe. Like the, the KPA should have been like 80 or 90, which is usually like atmospheric pressure. It was down like 65, so it was just choking it. It was way down on the power band. It still felt better than it did. <laughs> what did it do, a 15.5 you said? Yeah. All right, call your shot. Eight cylinders. Uh, 14. 14? Flat. 14 flat, okay. Something special for you, Fred. What's up? Oh, red light district <laughs> in the car. Uh, so I well, raised, how'd you do on the 50, John? Uh, not good. What'd it do? I put way too much fuel to it just because I didn't know where that the ECU does all the fueling, and I was like, okay, where's it gonna go? Uh, so I did too much fuel, and okay. I'm gonna make a couple of passes. I, I took the fuel back, so before it was set up to do nitrous on my 408, and it was a hell of a lot more. So I had to cut it back and kind of find where it needed to be. Well, just get her back in the 14s and we'll be, we'll oh. be good. how we want it, but we'll have nitrous and boost tomorrow. Ryan,
After this, you're going to keep this tired motor in here, and you're going to try to run 12s, and then 11s, and then 10s. You're going to go till it blows, right? Uh, or are you going to put like the nice motor back in? I mean, with all the love I've been getting, this has been awesome. Like seriously, I've never built such a crap box. It got so much joy out of it. No, like seriously, this is more fun than the 408 ever was. <laughs> <laughs> this is like. <laughs> It's in, it's stupid. Like it's I keep telling myself, I was like, why? I, I can't stop smiling. It's just like every time I'm going down the track and I just see that out there, I'm just like So you know what's crazy is we found out that we must have hurt the impeller when it contacted the housing because we're only making like three and a half pounds now. So that 13.6 was three and a half pounds and eight cylinders. Uh, Can you imagine what it would have done? Bandamere. Yeah, Bandamere. This is the fastest we've run all week long. Honestly, guys, this is one of my favorite cars all week. I'm not gonna lie. It's been one of my favorite cars all week. That's hot. Don't touch it. What are you doing? I was just gauging. I mean, it took us probably 20 minutes to ice it down last time, so I gonna ice it down and do one more. I really want to try. I think it's it'll do a 12. If I can do that 16860 foot. All right, fine. All right, go run it again. Yeah. Cool her down. You got like 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll run one more pass with it. Here is. 